Let's do it. Cage match. Shawn Michaels. Triple H. Could be awesome. This could be terrible. Let's see which one it is. Triple H is so goddamn beefy. Irish whip into the ropes. Shawn Michaels tries for the clothesline. Triple H ducks. Test the strength between these two. Triple H gets the advantage drop to hold right on that chair. You see his trademark sledgehammer in the ring. Body slam by HBK. Another body slam on the Triple H. And a jumping vertical suplex by Shawn Michaels. Getting the edge early on in this cage match here. Triple H trying to use his size and strength to his advantage. But Shawn Michaels' quickness and expertise might be coming through here. Body slam by Michaels. Goes into a straight jacket hold. Snapmare takeover by the Heartbreak Kid. Staying right on Triple H. Knife edge chop. And another jumping vertical suplex. Shawn Michaels with a lot of momentum early on in this match. Sidewalk slammed by Triple H. Triple H goes for a sledgehammer. He's got two sledgehammers in the ring. That is not good news for Shawn Michaels. Picks up a piece of a broken table there. Shawn Michaels gets out of the way. Back body drops Triple H off of a pile driver attempt there. Shawn goes for the cover, but there are no covers in this match. You can only escape the cage to win. Running shoulder block by Triple H, and he just starts pounding away at the heartbreak kid. Shawn Michaels breaks free. Elbow to the back of the head by Shawn Michaels. Goes into a Boston Crab. Triple H breaks free. Backbreaker by Triple H. Picks up a piece of that broken table. Hits Sean right in the guts with it. Sean shakes it off. Picks Triple H up for a body slam. Manhattan drop by Shawn Michaels. Goes for a figure four leg lock here. Ric Flair, a, a, a mentor to both Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Triple H, though, incensed that Shawn Michaels would use that figure four. And just starts hammering away. Sean gets Triple H up. Jumping pile driver by Shawn Michaels. Per perfectly executed. And he goes right back to that figure four leg lock. Referee Earl Hebner just staying way the hell out of the way in the corner. <laughs> there are no submissions here. There are no pinfalls. And Re Hebner's just staying out of the shit, man. Another suplex by Shawn Michaels. Follows it up with an elbow drop right to the face. Shawn Michaels with a straight jacket hold on Triple H. Maybe that's a chin lock. That might just be a chin lock. These two starting to go back and forth, exchanging strikes. Rights and lefts. Shawn Michaels gets the better of it. Stays on Triple H. Puts in another chin lock. I've been calling that a straight jacket hold this whole time. And the heartbreak kid is all over the game here. Goes for the pin, but there are no pins to be had in this match. Maybe uh, maybe they need to do some sort of update to the AI so in, in no pinfall matches it cancels out the uh, the pinfall attempt like priorities. Triple H with a low blow on Shawn Michaels. Picks up that sledgehammer. This could be bad news for the Heartbreak Kid. No. Oh, Shawn managing to get Triple H to drop that sledgehammer and hits him with an enziguri. Russian leg sweep by Shawn Michaels. Staying on Triple H as the two lock up. Jumping knee by Hunter. Hunter river dances with a sledgehammer in his hands. Short arm clothesline by the game. Twitching around with a table. Triple H throwing Shawn Michaels into the cage. Hooks him. Tries for that pedigree. Right on that broken table. That could have been devastating, but Shawn Michaels' back body drops Triple H. Irish whip into the ropes. Beautiful Hurricane Rana by the Heartbreak Kid.
Sean laying in some strikes there. Could be suplex and Triple H right onto that piece of broken table. Triple H's lower back colliding with that splintered wood. Triple H is going to make Shawn Michaels pay for that, potentially. Shawn Michaels reverses the vertical suplex. German suplex by Shawn Michaels. Irish whip into the ropes. Shawn trying to catch his breath here. Manhattan dropped by the Heartbreak Kid. And Shawn starts to climb the cage. Triple H makes his way to his feet. And that's going to be it. And that's the problem with the, uh, with the cage matches. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I think that they need to... This was a problem with the Fire Pro Returns, too, if I remember correctly. They need to make it so it takes, like, the guy a little bit longer to get over. Because uh, a fast wrestler can just get out of the cage so quick. There's no attempts to escape. There's just either wrestling or I leave the cage now. So, uh... Spike, developers, if you're listening to this, I would recommend uh, implementing something to make the cage matches a little bit more dramatic. That's a general, uh, general complaint of all the kind of gimmick matches in this, is that they're not terribly dramatic. Like the barbed wire death match, the landmine match, and this. They just kind of lack something. I think that's just because... The standard no bells and whistles wrestling match is so executed, so perfectly executed, that all the other kind of failings of the other modes kind of shine through. So, unfortunately, that's just always been a symptom of the game. But uh, I would like to see them do something to at least make the cage match a little bit more dramatic. That seems like an easy fix. Maybe it's not such an easy thing for the landmine death match and the bar and the uh, barbed wire death match but just uh slow the guys down a little bit on that uh on that transfer over the top of the cage <laughs> 